Hi all, in this video we will discuss about IEEE Identity Management, Authentication, Authorization and Accounting, CIA Confidentiality, Integrity and Availability and Phases of Ethical Hacking. IEEE Identity Management Identity Management or ID Management is a process to identify authenticate and authorize a user or group of users in an organization. It sets some policies and restricts the users if they are not allowed to access some systems, networks and applications. So this helps the organization to improve their productivity and security. They can also safeguard to protect their assets of being hacked. AAA that is authentication, authorization and accounting is implemented in a server. First, it identifies the user whether they have entered a valid username and password against the database. If it matches, then they are allowed to network access. If the authentication fails, access is denied. After authenticating, next is authorization. The user will have some limits to access the resource. For example, if you consider an admin and user, the admin will have more access over resources when compared with a user. Like the user can upload the data and have access to their own data but not others where the admin can access all users data from database. Authorization is a process where it can grant or deny access of network resources. Accounting keeps track of all users activity like the services they use time they spent on the network, data transferred or data accessed, etc. We'll see more in detail. In the identification stage, suppose let us take an example. Every day we are using our device to work on something. So before we start working, we need to give the identification that is user ID. This user ID will be considered as an identification. The next comes authentication. After identification, we need to give the password to log in successful, which is called as authentication. So that only the authentication can confirm the user for a successful login. The next comes authorization. Let us consider with an example as the above one. If someone wants to access any server or any devices in an organization, they need to be authorized. If you want to install an application, it will ask you for an administration access so that the authorization cannot be done by everyone. Only the authorized persons can access the required ones. The next comes accounting. Suppose if you are authorized person and you have given a successful login, then you will connect with a server. Accounting comes with how much time you spent over the connection and what you have done over the time, etc. These will come under accounting. CIA Confidentiality, Integrity and Availability It is a model designed for guiding policies to information security in an organization. Confidentiality The name itself tells us that it is equal to privacy. It's designed to protect sensitive data from unauthorized users. 
it sets some rules that limits user to access the information for example providing confidentiality by encrypting the data using two factor authentication using tokens etc integrity it maintains the accuracy consistency and trusted data it takes some security measures like file permissions user access control etc to keep data safe and not being tampered by unauthorized users to check the integrity of the data it should include some checksums cryptographic checksums etc availability it safeguards the data by taking data backup to prevent data loss it uses proxies firewalls etc to provide the resources any time and make them available the dos attack can be considered as a good example for this where its aim is to make a server or website down and make them unavailable to users so by taking some steps like designing a strong secure system data storing in multiple servers so if one goes down the other one can be available to users etc we'll see more in detail about the cia so in the confidentiality data encryption will be a good example of confidentiality suppose some data which is highly confidential is needed to be transmitted then encryption of the data will give the protection without losing its confidentiality so that only the authorized people will only have the access to decrypt the data when it comes to integrity for example if you are sending a file or payload which is having an hash value so that when receiver receives the file or payload then the hash value should be same because if the hash value is not same then the integrity is lost this suggests that there is some loss in data while transmitting when it comes to availability suppose when you are sending any request to the server the server should respond over the request when it reaches for example when you want to access google server you will send a request to the server then the server should be available to accept the request whenever it reaches out phases of ethical hacking we'll see each phase in detail the first one is reconnaissance this is the first phase where the hacker collects all the information of target this phase is also known as preparatory phase the hacker collects the basic information like old passwords employee ids etc after this hacker finds a specific ip address identifying vulnerability etc this process is called footprinting footprinting also provides the domain name ports and their services system user names and passwords monitoring a website using search engine to get some information etc the footprinting is of two types the first one is active gathering information by directly interacting with the target by using an map tool to scan the target passive gathers information without directly interacting with the target collects information from their website social media sites etc scanning in this phase the hacker tries an easy way to gain access to enter into the network the scanning can be done in three ways first one port scanning in this phase the hacker tries to scan the target machine to get some information like what are the open ports 
what are the services that are running on host and live systems. Second one is vulnerability scanning. In this phase, the attacker uses some automated tools to know if there are any weaknesses or vulnerability that can be exploited in the target machine. The third one is network mapping. In this phase, the attacker tries to get the host information, routers, firewalls, servers, network topologies, and drawing network diagram with available information. Gaining access. In this phase, the attacker gets access to the systems, networks, applications, and also controls the system by gaining user privileges and can even have admin level access where the attacker can deploy or install an application, modifies or hides the data, etc. Maintaining access. In this phase, the attacker installs some backdoors to enter into the system so that he may access it in the future. In this stage, the attackers use Metasploit tool. The main aim is to access the target machine and do some activity. Clearing tracks. In this phase, the attacker clears all the evidences so that he will not be caught. Attacker deletes or modifies the log values, registry values, deleting files, folders, and uninstalling the applications that he used. Thank you. We'll see you in the next. For more videos, please download our application Cyber Future Tech from Google Play Store.